Welcome to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower, where we do our best to give you useful information in 20 minutes or less. We are thrilled to announce that the Society of Voice Arts and Sciences has selected your 20-minute podcast with David Brower as a Voice Art Awards nominee in the Outstanding Podcast category. Now, here's your host, five-time Voice Arts Awards nominee, David Brower. Thanks, Alan. This is David Brower with your 20-minute podcast. Our special guest today is Amber Hurdle. She understands what it takes to accelerate success. She's a former teen mom, teen mom who evolved into a powerhouse businesswoman. Amber has worked with international celebrities, Fortune 500 companies, women in business worldwide. And whether she is empowering female entrepreneurs, teaching them out-of-the-box business strategies, or energizing and educating leadership to next level, their employment engagement. So I'm excited to talk to you, Amber. Thanks a lot for taking the time today. I know you're going uh, 100 miles an hour, I'm sure. <laughs> well, that is the life of a bombshell. And I have to say, David, I am very jealous of your radio voice. I wish I, wish I had... <laughs> had that for my podcast. <laughs> oh, you're very kind. You're very kind. The uh well, that, I'm my real my uh real life job, I'm a voice actor. So I do the I do the podcast thing for fun and education and information and pay it forward kinds of stuff. So uh you're very kind. Thank you. So, Bombshell B- Businesswoman. How long has your book been out? Um, well, since October 1st. So okay. um, not too long, but it seems like long enough that I've sure have talked about it a lot and have um, gotten a tremendous response from my readers and um, everything from emails to social media messages. And um, I've even gotten letters in the mail of what women are doing with the content and how they're applying it to their businesses in life. And I'll tell you, it's made the entire very stressful process of writing, producing, and and publishing a book worth every piece of energy I contributed to it. Good for you. Good. So did you self-publish? No. um, There's there's three different ways that you can publish. There's self-publishing. You're responsible for everything. And then there's traditional publishing where basically somebody else finances the whole thing and um, and then they make all the final decisions. Uh, Me being a brand expert, I was very interested in this being branded in like everything else in my business and my bombshell business boot camp and in my podcast, the bombshell businesswoman. So I went with a hybrid, um, which means I financed the book. However, a publisher uh, published it. Nice. So that gave me a bigger split of the money, which by the way, if anybody thinks they're going to get rich off of the book, you're sorely (laughs) mistaken. Um, But it gave me the power to use it for for what I wanted to use it for. And that convey my distinct message and my story um, in a way that was authentic and true to me. And um, that was targeted specifically to the audience that I know very well by this point. And, it's not necessarily about book sales for me. It's about this book being a tool to further the mission that I'm on um, with the Bombshell Businesswoman movement. Absolutely right. And, and when you're when you're focused like that and you're consistent with your brand, which everybody has to be, even though a lot of us don't know that, you have to be consistent with your <laughs> brand from from day one to day never. And to be able to have that control in the publishing process to stay true to your brand and be authentic with your project, uh, that's powerful. And that's what helps you uh, reach these people the way your your intentions were, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, any anytime you're doing something like this, granted, there is there is always the business aspect because I could be laying by the pool and just hanging out as opposed to, you know, putting this energy into it. Right. Um, but there, there is a bigger aspect and there's a bigger picture at play here for me. And that is, you know, I sell branding advice. Okay. What I give is confidence. That's, oh, that's wow. really at the end of the day, what I'm selling, because if you understand who you are and the impact that you have either in your business or in the world, Uh then you can go out and confidently pursue that. And so for me to have the opportunity to be able to empower and embolden women to go share their gifts with the world, whether it's through their business, which is a very nice way of doing it because you actually get compensated for it, or through their families or their volunteer effort, community, whatever, I, I can't even think of something that I would love more to do with my waking hours than that. What a gift. I mean, that's like the ultimate pay it forward. 
Well, you know, you know it really. It, I mean, that's what have, a way it feels to me is uh, is you're on a quest to help women worldwide in any way possible, be it business, be it philanthropy, be it volunteer work, or any other facet. Uh, but there's something there's something in your DNA that says, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to pay it forward and help these help these women grow and survive. Yeah, when you start out as a teen mom and you've got to figure out real quickly how you are going to not get your car repossessed. <laughs> right. And right. so you have to figure out what are my gifts and how do I sell these gifts so that I can provide for another mouth while you are still carrying a backpack around every day. Right. That that's a pretty intense situation and what I've seen is that I was forced or, and, and chose, but life, life handed me an opportunity to figure some of this stuff out quickly. Fortunately, I was surrounded by people who wanted to help me get there because they saw that I had the desire. Not everybody has that type of environment in their life. Not everybody has the opportunity to quickly find mentors or they might ha- not have the personality type. Like I'm a total extrovert right. relationship builder type person. They might not have that personality. So what can I do with the gifts that got me to where I am because of the people who supported me and helped me and championed me? What can I do to help those women? Well, you know, if you have $14 and 99 cents in your pocket or in your bank account, you can, you can get this book and we can get started on it. Nice. And there's no coincidence to you being surrounded by those people all of, all of a sudden. I mean, there's just, life just doesn't work that way, you know? No. <laughs> there are no coincidences in life. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. So how old is your daughter now? She is uh, 21, um, approaching 22 in July. So um, July, what, is, July what? Tw- July 24th. All right. I had yeah. to ask because I'm it's, I'm the 14th and my son's the 21st, so she's in good company. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a great it's a great month. So it is I, a great I probably month. know a lot about your personality. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, she's created her own way, and she is a a licensed real estate agent. She is graduating from um, college uh, in in just a, a few short weeks, and um, and help. Um, a, a local brick and mortar business um, as as the manager. In fact, she's at market right now, so she's kind of like her mom. She's got a lot of irons in the fire, and grass never grows underneath her feet either. But you know, she did that on her own. Right. There might be influence from her parents, but she found her own wherewithal to figure out what she wanted at this point in her life and where she wants to go. What and, a gift! Um, so I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The uh, what's the old saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very exciting for both of you. As I'm sure I know you're very very proud of her, and I'm sure she's very very proud of you. So how yeah, do people can. people can of course get the book uh, at all the usual places? I assume is that right? Yes, um, always the easiest is Amazon, but you could also get it at Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, Target. Um, there's there are more bookstores out there than I even knew still existed, and Isn't it's that in crazy? a lot of those places too. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. What so a learning experience. You have such an engaging personality and voice and all that kind of thing. And you were very generous to compliment me on mine. I'm wondering uh, if you if you haven't done an audio book yet. We have, um, and and I say we because, of course, like I'm, I can barely get my podcast out every <laughs> week. So talk about a passion project. Um, I'm not a pro like you. I'm I'm a branding person who podcasts. But um, yeah, we we have it recorded, and honestly, it it just needs to be reviewed, um, and then we're done. Good, so, uh, good. But, but thank goodness that the um, economy is great and business is growing and, um, and a lot of people need me right now. So my attention has totally been on my clients and, um, and I really would love to get that, that book out. It is at the top of the um, operational priorities. Good for you. Good for you. So, Somebody, uh, there's a there's a woman out there. She's starting a new business. She's struggling. She doesn't know what she doesn't know. Uh, she can spell branding, but she's not sure what it means. <laughs> um, how can you how can you help a novice like that? Well, I would definitely recommend, um, and I'm you know I'm going to say this repeatedly, but buy the book. But more right. importantly than buy the book, 
download the free resources because I give a, a workbook and all kinds of additional resources for that person that needs a little extra help. But the key to branding, number one, is who do you help? What problem do you solve? And then how do you solve that uniquely? So when you identify who it is that you're really wanting to be as uh, to be a customer, now you can get into their head and, and what's their motivator? What's, what's in it for them to do business with you? If, right. if you're a hair salon, are you, I mean, like uh, I just took my son to sports clips yesterday. Genius brand. Genius Isn't it? Model. Oh my God. Absolutely. Like, why didn't somebody think of that beforehand? It's, it's strictly, it's a, it's a male focused, sports oriented, everything. There's lockers in there instead of uh, cabinetry. There's always ESPN on, on the TV. It's a no fluff, you know, experience unless you want to pay a little extra to get a scalp massage. You're in and you're right. out um, in a very male environment. So you would know I am appealing to, to sport loving men okay well now how do we solve their problem they, right. they need a quick haircut so you put your processes together to appeal to that customer and then how do you do it differently well this guy doesn't have to go into a frou-frou salon that's got a bunch of gold and pink and all kinds of stuff in it and have to listen to you know the the salon gossip he and, and he also doesn't have to go into a vanilla you know um great clips or something else that doesn't really it's not male or female and there might be you know, a little girl sitting next to you. Sure, I mean, this sure. is very specific and they solve it uniquely. And so they have a strong brand and a healthy business. And that's what any woman needs to figure out for her own brand. And you help them do that. Yes. Oh, yes. I love it. You, I, I mean, that's what, you, that's what you sink your teeth into is helping somebody develop their brand, identifying with it, accepting it, having the confidence to engage with it, and then go take on the world, right? Absolutely. And, and, you know, when I do this, not, I, I really don't launch a lot of brands. A lot of times I go into an established business and talk to them because they, they started a business and somehow they created a brand along the way because people are going to have an opinion about you, whether or not you tell them what it should be. Right. And I come in to help them clarify okay, given the data that we have, given that here's, here's where you're really making your money. Here's how this is what people respond to when you've marketed before. Who are you? What is your brand story? What is your brand promise? What should customers expect from an experience with you? And then we start going down the path of that brand clarity. And I do that for one person businesses and I do that for international brands from the inside out going in and saying, okay, here's your brand. But for some reason, the customer experience isn't working or your employees aren't really happy about what's going on in the brand. So we still need that clarity. What is it that you do? How do you do it uniquely? Yeah. And the employees have to identify, embrace, understand, uh, and be loyal to that brand. Yeah. They have to help you live the brand. Yeah. If they can't live out your, your brand experience, your customers are not going to receive a consistent brand experience, and now your brand is going down the toilet. That's part one of our interview with Amber Hurdle. Today's podcast has been sponsored by DavidBrowerVO.com. Over 500 clients in 85 countries trust us with their brand, and you should too. Listen to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower on the go. Downloads are available on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, any podcast app, and on our website at davidbrowervo.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, thank you for listening.